Hello everybody, this is Timothy Dixon coming to you today. My soul is is stirred. My heart is stirred up. Have you ever got a burden for your country or for someone or uh, a particular person that you felt like they really needed really needed the Lord to touch them and and uh, it just really laid on your heart real strong and you, you prayed for them and you prayed for them and, and seemed like the burden wouldn't lift up off your heart and then you by that you feel like Lord have, have I've not prayed through this yet I've, I still need to keep praying and if the burden has not been lifted from your heart if you're uh, a real true prayer warrior filled with the Spirit of God you're, you're going to be touched You're going to be touched by the things that is going on. And God's going to put things on your heart to pray about because God wants people to praise Him. They want people to, He wants people to talk with Him, pray, pray to Him, talk to Him. That is how God is. One scripture it says that he inhabits or he lives in lives in lives in the very praises of his people and I believe that we're we're definitely we're coming into a time right now that there's a separation going on and it has been going on for some time And it's a separation of the evil, the evil preacher, the evil pastor that has, has done things and they know better. You know, it's, it's, it's one thing to do something evil and, and maybe you was ignorant to uh, certain things you might done that you thought, well, is is this a sin or is that not a sin? And you just don't really know yet. But there are some things that a person can do. You know good and well it's evil. No matter how you want to category it Christian-wise or not Christian, some things are just downright evil. And to, to want to to destroy people, to kill people, slaughter them, massacre them. There is a spirit that I seen the other night in a dream. And I talked about it a little bit and how that this spirit was so so strong and so so fast on his feet. And a lot of times I, I don't understand the depth of the dreams that I have. I, and sometimes it takes a little while for me to pray about them and, and for the Lord to tell me what it really means. Because sometimes I'm wanting to look at it one way and God wants me to look at it another so sometimes you can fail to get the proper interpretation of what God is trying to show you if you're not careful. But that's where praying and seeking the Lord for His will, His purpose in your life, and His will for the country. And here I had a dream 
about Africa and Uganda and it was it was about the pastor over there that uh, the ministry is uh, trying to help him in his ministry and looking uh, to be a, a, a little bit of a support that um, but it was me and him was somewhere here in the United States and I knew in the dream that me and me and him and others here in America was trying had been trying to get him over here on a on a visa and Amanda Tate our one of the secretaries up there and Aaliyah Spears she's another young lady that helps the ministry uh, there in the office in Dothan and that office is where we we put together the Minute Ministry News and other things that pertains to uh, ministering to the needs of the people and, and of the world. And they do such a fabulous job. They they uh, they're over a little program we call the Minute Ministry News, and they do different news. Uh, briefings about different people, different ministers, and different things that they prophesy, different things that's going on in the country, and I think they're doing a marvelous job, but in this, in this, me and Tara Oluka, there in Africa, me and him was somewhere here in the United States, and we had put the tent up, and apologize it's so loud out here on this highway with this telephone we've been so so busy here till I'm I don't want to not put put these dreams up and stuff that the Lord is showing me I want to be able to put them up so um, but we were somewhere and we had put the tent up and all around us they were there was dogs, like wild dogs, out surrounding the tent. We could not see them with our eyes. And, but we heard them, we heard them laughing. And uh, if, you, if, if, if you ever heard of the hyena, they, they sound real, real strange when they laugh or when they, when they, barking or when they're making a noise they they really sound a real strange way that they uh and and it caught our ears and 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 pastor tara he he started dancing in one spot on his feet just dancing in the spirit and he started sp speaking in an unknown language and as he spoke in that unknown language you could feel something was going on in the atmosphere and something was changing something was happening very 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 powerful that we me and him did not know or understand what was going on because it had never happened before. And 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 Pastor Tara he, he spoke up and he said, This is new. This is new. The Lord does a new thing. That's what he said. He said, Behold, behold. He said it a couple of times, behold the Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. And he was lifting his hands up, and there was there was a power of God fell, and it was like we were 
Um, we were somewhere uh, in 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 like the Midwest area, you know, uh, of the United States. And as as he did that, we joining in. We were praying, and he started getting tired, physically tired. Uh, and and the Lord was started speaking to me, and he, and he told me he said that what you're seeing is not natural, but it's spiritual. He said that he said you go over to him, join yourself to him. Is what the Lord told me, and it reminded me when the Lord spoke to Philip and told him said to join yourself to the chariot. And but the Lord told me he said you join yourself to him and you go you go and you hold his hands up because he had his hands up and he was getting tired because he'd had them up so long but he was determined he was not going to let them down such a great strength was coming over him but yet the Lord told me to go over there and help hold his hands up and physically that's what I did. I went over and I held his hand, his arm up. And when I held it, held both of his arms up, there was a, a great, great, uh, just a great manifestation of the Spirit of God. You really felt the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost coming in, it, in, the, in the place that you was at, surrounding you. And his presence and then uh, like this angelic power this this person moved me over and I was holding up one of his arms then and then the, the, that the angel was holding his other arm up and and I was looking and I was searching in my heart I said Lord what what, what is it? What are you doing? What do you mean? What's this mean? I, I, I don't want to miss you. I don't want to fail what you're wanting to do. And and then all at once, it changed. And the angel that was there, the person was talking to me, telling me to, to get the people... Get the people of America to hold his hands up with you. Said to pray, pray for him because I knew that the Lord had had put a call on his life. And and Pastor Tara, if you're if you're listening to this video, um. Uh, I really, I saw when you was a little boy and growing up there and there was like, like a white dove. No matter where you went, I seen you like you moved from one location, like a house or a place or something of a, of a city or something like that. And then you moved over to somewhere else as your time went. You know, uh, as you grew up through the years, but there was a dove, a white dove, that always followed you, and you knew it. Um, he he knew this, saints, that that something was different. Hallelujah! But. We started. We started praying, and we started really working to to get him over to the United States. And I saw someone, someone that had a lot of, a lot of uh, ties to be able to get get Pastor over here. helped him I was contacted then in the dream I was contacted by 
by telephone and this person was helping me get the visa to where he could come over and there was people here in the United States was was forming joining with me in this place that we were at and all everyone started surrounding pastor Tara and was holding his hands up and we were all in one mind and I've never seen nothing like this uh, that I can remember I've never seen a dream like this uh, before that I like to say like that I can remember how that you was holding up someone's hands like they held up Moses's hand as long as the his hands and the rod was up they were winning the battles and but there was such such a presence of God that was in the in the in the uh, in the earth in the United States and I knew that we had moved into uh, the coming presidency and President Trump was the president. President Trump was the president. And it's like everything in America that that we were so afraid of so scared of and it looked so bad um, our our fear of, of thinking that we was going to fall under subsided it, it, we knew that God had, had stepped in and had mercy upon us and given someone that would step inside this country and give us some more time to reach the lost and I knew this and uh, President Trump in the dream he was already elected this was um, definitely here in the 2024 right now in the end of the year 2025 in that area but there was such a such a powerful, powerful presence of God. And I knew that the Lord had got got a body of people together here in the United States to help lift up the hands of, of Tara Pastor over there in Uganda. And um, it was so powerful and he was he would he had God had moved uh, to get him a visa to where he was coming back and forth and this particular time here it was not the first time he had been here he had already been here before so that means that God moved this year right now and and uh, there was we were somewhere or another I could say in in the mid Midwest and We uh, we came to the service. We came to one of the services there after and we we started we started the service there wherever that we was and we started singing, singing, you know, singing some praise songs and uh And uh, I'm coming up on the property here where we got our equipment at. Thank you, Jesus. But uh, Sidney Powell, Sidney Powell had come up from off the back of the stage. I don't know where she was, but she come up. And she started giving a testimony 
um, given a testimony of what what God had done and how the Lord had had moved so prophetically and she was telling that because that people did not really see everything that God was doing and uh, in the past and but she was more or less letting you know and uh, Carrie Lake she was coming she'd come she'd come in and we up at the altar and we uh, we anointed her and uh, we prayed prayed with her and everybody was praying with her and and then my wife and some other ladies there in this meeting uh, was anointing her feet and praying for her uh, all over and Sidney Powell came up to carry and, and was telling them that God the Lord is with you don't fear man's faces and I thought man that's that's kind of a strange vocabulary for for these people here because you, you was kind of looking for them to have uh, not so much of a spiritual conversation but not that they don't but just uh but in this particular incident god was moving in such a such a mighty way such a mighty way and our country was just such such a such a difference such a difference in the very freedom that i felt you know in the spirit in this dream i felt so thankful so very thankful that God had held off all the things and all the trouble that he had been showing us. God had held it off for this great, great revival. And it wasn't just for America. That's what really, really stuck with me there is it was also for other neighboring countries, but God had held all this stuff off that it would not tear America apart. And God, that, that Africa, Africa would be, would be blessed and saved. And then this song here, we started all singing it, and Pastor Tara he started the song off, and right here I'm going, I'm going to go into this, this song here. I want you to listen to the words of this song. It ain't real long, uh, but it's it's so beautiful. Listen to the words, and I'll be back to talk to you um, in in just a few minutes. But this is the song. It's it's Africa will be saved. So listen to this and I'll be right back. All right, praise God. Wasn't, wasn't that beautiful, y'all? That was so beautiful. That's what was being sung. And, and not that uh, Africa will be saved, but America would be saved as well. And, and there was such, such, such a power of God had hit our country and because the Lord hit in this country, the abroad neighboring countries was such revival was being broke out. And uh, the Lord spoke right there at the end before I come out of the dream, woke up and said that I have people of another tongue and of another language, people of another country I have them there I have them in place and I knew the Lord had had them in, in these other places and I never quite saw it so strong as I did here and um, to let me know that 
uh, pastor over there, Tara, in Uganda, God had his hand on his life as well as uh, the president here in America. The very best is happening right now. It is amazing what God is doing. The healings and the stuff that is happening right now all over the country is absolutely amazing. Uh, we love you and we appreciate you. Write to me at Post Office Box 417, Midland City, Alabama 36350. And uh, my website is timothyvdixonministry.org. You can go on it and uh, got a store there with different little things that we uh, sell there to help us with fuel and gas uh, on our traveling. Uh, and you can uh, go on there also. We have a... Uh, app you can download it with google play or apple either one and uh you'll be connected at anything that might change on the calendars of where we're coming or something like that you'll be notified uh immediately so uh we appreciate we really appreciate everything everybody's doing the uh it's just been really really blessed we could not do what we do if if the people did not uh, believe, believe in what we're doing and helping, helping. This is saving America for, for people to stand up like this everywhere, not just me, but everywhere and lift up the name of Jesus. It is saving America. It is absolutely saving America, but we love you. The gathering down here, uh, we have got real good heat. We got LP uh, propane heaters here, uh, and I know the weather is calling for a couple of nights to be kind of cold. But we've got uh, some LP heat that we're going to have in a tent. It's going to be uh, not be so cold in the tent and all, and uh, and the. It's like I say, it's LP, and that way it won't be burning your eyes like you know, old kerosene heaters want us to burn your eyes a little bit. But uh, we appreciate you. We love y'all so much. And uh, we look forward to the great things that God has in store for us in the coming years. We appreciate you. Uh, my wife and some other people is in prayer. They have shut themselves in and shut themselves out from. Uh, any kind of public uh, and they're in prayer praying for America and praying for the, the revival so come join us come be with us it's going to be great we've got a, a list of great great men and women of God that is coming we love every one of you God bless you bye bye